YouTube, Utah Gunner here. Want to do a review of the Ruger SR9C. This is my everyday carry pistol. Comes with a nice plastic hard case. Comes with uh, everything you see here. And it comes with the owner's manual, spent casing, and stuff like that. But I got that locked up in the safe, with the serial number, and all that stuff. Comes with uh, two magazines a 10 round magazine. Uh, 17 round magazine 17 round magazine has a grip adapter a grip extension so when you have it seated in that small small frame takes up some of that extra space right there comes with a pretty decent little magazine loader works fine for me pretty cool that they tossed that in there I chose to go with uh, the brushed stainless slide they do have a nitride coated uh, slide, but I chose the brush stainless for you no know, better wear. I pretty much just took this right out of my holster uh, and put it in the case so it is loaded. Go ahead and clear it right now. Drop the magazine, get it out of the way. It doesn't accidentally go back in. Get rid of that round. Make sure it doesn't accidentally go back in. Make sure everything's totally safe. There we go. Has really nice three dot sights uh, the overall length on this pistol from the barrel to the back of the frame or from the muzzle to the back of the frame is 6.85 inches so it's decently compact not too bad and uh, from top of the slide to the base and that's what the the flush magazine down at the bottom it's a uh, 4.61 inches I haven't measured it with the, the longer magazine obviously it's, it's gonna be about an inch longer the 10 round magazines come with this pinky extension or just the flush base plate I ran the, the pinky extension for a while I eventually got comfortable with just uh, the flush base plate. I also noticed that I carry in about the three or four o'clock position, and this uh, pinky extension was starting to wear holes in my shirt. Not a big deal, but man, it does wear out your shirts. At least mine, anyways. <clears throat> It is uh, striker fired, has a trigger safety, also has a, a manual thumb safety, which is ambidextrous. The magazine release is also ambidextrous. The only thing that isn't ambidextrous is the slide stop, slide release. It's really easy to take down, take it off safe. I'll make sure it's clear. Push through your takedown pin. I got strong enough thumbs I can just push it through with my thumb, get it started. Uh, you might have, if it's uh, you know, a little bit more tough, you might have to take like a pin or something, pop it through. Move the takedown pin. Oh, also. This gun has a magazine disconnect, which means it's a magazine disconnect safety, which means if there is a round in the chamber and you drop the magazine, it will not fire. It won't go off. And this little guy right there, that is your mag that's the disconnect safety slash your ejector. So when you go to take down the pistol, you have to push that down. Or the slide will get stuck like it just did to me a second ago. Once you do that, it comes right off. It's not like a Glock. You don't have to drop the, uh, pull the trigger, release the, the striker like you do on a Glock. It just, you drop that uh, disconnect safety and it slides right off. It comes with a dual captured uh, recoil spring. It is, it's half plastic, half, um, steel the rod 
inside here and I inside right here inside the spring is uh, steel but it does have a polymer cap on the end so I guess you get the both the best of both worlds or the worst of both worlds when it comes to that the slide comes right out the barrel itself is uh, three point four inches long this is a stainless barrel really nice easy to keep clean you know unless you put it in salt water and let it sit for a while it's not really gonna rust up on you a polymer frame got your your rail blocks in here solid right here and right here they're kinda molded into the into the frame itself Pretty typical of a striker, striker fired uh, polymer pistol. That is your your disconnect safety slash ejector right there. It does. It also features a reversible back strap, much like every other or almost every other uh, polymer pistol out there. Really easy. You just take punch. Push that pin through the back side. Pull the pin out. Slide the back strap down. And replace it. Switch it around. And you get a nice little hump. Now, with me, if I'm using the short magazine, uh, the flush mag, the 10 round mag, I don't like to use it with that hump because it hits my palm. It's not very comfortable. But if I'm using the 17 round mag with that extension, it feels really good. So if you have the SR9, the full length grip, you probably really like that. Uh, that uh, hump right there. Go ahead. Switch it back to the flat. The right there, it also acts as a lanyard hole. You could put a lanyard on your pistol. Hole's pretty small. I don't know what kind of lanyard you could fit in there, but you know they kind of toss that in. Reassembles really easy. You know, got Glock XD. Drop the barrel in. Put in your recoil spring. Good to go. You got your striker right here. Uh, that's your uh, trigger block. Um, actually that's your uh, disconnect safety right there and this is your firing pin safety your trigger block and it's uh, everything on this is held together with roll pins so you can't you gotta punch out all those roll pins if you're gonna completely uh, strip it down like you would a Glock or anything like that comes with a nice little uh, loaded round ind indicator really pronounced it sticks up there paint a bright red so you can see real easy during the day at night if you just you know need to check to make sure it's loaded all you gotta do is rub it there if it's smooth you know you need to chamber it sticks up you know you got something in there the striker does uh, true it out the back when you're cocking it you can see it goes back together just as easy as it came apart one thing uh, you got to remember uh, I do this more than I should should know better by now but uh, if you're doing a deep cleaning or anything like that and you're cleaning the frame up you pop that back up the disconnect or the ejector up um, you have to push that back down before you can put the slide back if not it hits the back of the slide right there just gotta make sure pop that down lock it back take your uh, your takedown pin push it in all the way through um, what I always do you don't have to do this because it, it'll come back up automatically when you chamber a or seat a mag in there um, I always just take my finger flip up the, the ejector the disconnect and good to go. 
Now, um, in the owner's manual, you should always read your uh, manuals that come with your pistols, your rifles, or whatever. Um, uh, Ruger does not recommend you dry fire this without a magazine in it. Um, the magazine helps support the, the disconnect and the, the striker itself. So I'll take the uh, empty 17 round magazine, seat it, and you can see when you put the extended magazine in with uh, the grip adapter, you get a, a full size full size grip. Almost like the SR9. <clears throat> the regular SR9C doesn't have that that bob to it. We'll go ahead show you the trigger. Go ahead and triple check. Make sure it's empty. And do really nice trigger it's um it's not super long but it's nice and firm i've noticed with a lot of glocks you get that kind of mushy feel where it's soft this one's uh constant pressure all the way back and then resets right there yeah it does come with a uh, accessory rail put a lighter a laser on there whatever you want. You have this magazine is loaded. We will make sure we don't chamber it, but just give you a, a look, see what the what it looks like with the finger extension on there. Without the the finger extension, you can easily get two and a half fingers on it. No problem. But yeah, this is this has been my carry gun since uh, March of uh, 2012. I absolutely love this gun. It it eats whatever I give it. I've gave it a American Eagle, a Federal Champion, uh, the new Tula Brass Max, uh, uh, Privy Partisan, it, anything. The only thing I haven't put through this is the steel case Tula ammo, and. I don't think I will do that. I've had problems with 380 ammo, so I'm not gonna waste my money on the on the nine. So yeah, it's excellent excellent pistol. If you're looking into getting one, I recommend you do get one. You probably love it. I know I love mine. So yeah, the, uh, I hope you uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video. Got some uh, pretty cool gun reviews coming up, some cool little projects, so uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.